<laughs> yes, little wolf. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Originals. Today we'll be watching episode 8 of season 2, The Brothers That Care For God. Um, the previous episode, we got to see Cole and Finn finally being captured, um, well, by Marcus and uh, Haley, but then, you know, now under the care of Klaus and Elijah. So I'm really excited to see this brother reunion. I wish Rebecca was also there in this because, uh, I mean, naturally she's, you know, taking care of Hope away from New Orleans and whatnot, but still it's just like, it's good to see the family back, even if it's under such unfortunate circumstances. But um, I am now very curious for uh, what they are going to do. And the main thing is Cammy. Like uh, the last we saw, Esther was heartbroken seeing um, Ansel killed. And now he's she's taking that revenge and that anger out on um, Cammy because, well, she did say that uh, Klaus has taken such fond, uh, you know, notice to Cami, and I have no idea what she did, but she's doing, so she did something and then it stopped and I'm not sure what it is. I hope it's not something like some Monique Devereaux uh, spell because I, I cannot deal with Cami being affected in this in any sort of way because she's, she's done nothing but help us and I don't know how it's going to end for Esther now, now that this has happened. And of course, where is Michael? Like, it's been oh, like quite a while since we've not seen him. So there are many things that are happening. I'm not sure how it's going to go from here on out, which is something that I'm really happy about because it keeps me guessing. And yeah, I'm super excited for this episode. So let's not wait any further. Let's get right to it. Unfortunately, our own parents failed miserably at even the most basic of parental tasks. But we are not beholden to the past they created for us. My recommendation was to remove your limbs one by one until you comply. <laughs> We've no desire to torture you. Provided you vow to stand beside us as brothers. I imagine it's only a matter of time. No! <laughs> Emotions running. I have the baby and we're on the run. Esther found us. We're safe for now. I've lost her bloody starlings, but I have no idea where to go. Tell her to head west. I'll pull Haley. Do not tell Haley. Because your child. I have waited months to see my daughter. I can wait one more day. Oh, you're so amazing right now. Elijah, do whatever it takes to keep her safe. Yes. She gave the moonlight rings. Oh, those rings make you slaves. No. They make us powerful. We were exiles before, but now we run the city. The vampires are scared of us, and no one, including me, is just going to walk away from that because... Set the damn meeting. Yes, Alpha. If only I'd known he was Klaus's father, I would have asked him a hell of a lot more. Oh, my God. Okay. I guess. You know, I was up all night looking through this, trying to find something, anything that'll help me figure out how to get our people back together. Klaus will kill him. His name isn't Caleb, it's Cole. And Klaus has had a thousand years to kill him, and he hasn't. So worry less about him and more about yourself. All right, this guy is not your friend. He wants to use you to get his own way. Either way, if you continue to defy me, your lives will be reduced to an unending sequence of agonizing torture. Let's hear it. So, <laughs> Come on, which nice. is it to be? Nice. Come on, Marcel. You're king of the city once you really think he's just gonna give it back to you. Twisting words. <laughs> Can't do anything but together. Wow, Klaus wouldn't stand a chance. Tell me everything. Maybe you get to live. If not. <laughs> it's kind of a uh, Romeo and Romeo thing. I'm and how it. hot is this Romeo? Wow. Pretty hot. <laughs> Definitely worth the drama. Yeah. <laughs> I understand your devotion to her. She must have clung to you with desperate need after our sister Freya died, making you believe 
It was your responsibility to care for her. Is it not better to join me than spend the remainder of your mortal life aligned to a woman who always manipulated you? Brother, I offer you the opportunity to free yourself. I don't think Finn will ever budge. The world's power can be traced back to the myth of the unification ceremony, a ritual that bestowed certain unique abilities onto every member of the pack. Oh wow, so he did turn and wow. Do you believe this? But I have a unique ability. Because I'm a hybrid eye, I can control when I change. So if this mystical marriage thing works, then then our people get my power and they can ditch the ring. I think I think she will do some she will go ahead with the marriage for her people. For the for her clan. So this is everything I found in my uncle's files about werewolf ceremonies and rituals. Mostly it sounds like old folklore and fables. Don't tell me she's like a spy, like I'm she guessing can you're see. not here looking for some kind of proof. Hey, what's that on your back? What the frick? What is that? Hey, you okay? the werewolf traitor thing is there more trouble with your pack people i guess we'll find out soon enough oh can you guys see this already it's been too damn oh I... yes final freaking me for me whether I like it or not. If I die, she'll just pop me into another body. Not that my family will care that much if the death was permanent. All of your mischief was just attempts for attention. You know, the truth is, Cole, you're right. To feel slighted, I mean that you're right. But perhaps there's still time to make it up to you. But, but, but what is Davina doing? And what is on the back of Camille? Oh, Please... Gone. I told you to clean yourself up. <laughs> if you were clean, no one would know what you were doing. She begged one of the most powerful witches in history for help, her sister, Dahlia. She agreed to make our mother fertile, but in exchange, she sought the firstborn as sacrifice, having no other choice. Had your child lived, she would have paid the price. Oh. And if anyone had tried to protect her, you would come and destroy us all. I kept saying she is like hope. Hope is Dahlia's reincarn. <laughs> Sorry. So big, so perfect. <laughs> I can't imagine the joy of spending every day with her. It's quite lovely. You're so human. Oh. You see, sister, mother believes that by placing us in new bodies, we could then reclaim some kind of purity. Even begin families of our own again. Actually, I think it is. Looks like it's just you and me now. <laughs> yes, little wolf. Who's right about to you now? You're weak. <laughs> I woke up with puncture wounds all up and down my spine and no idea how they got there. According to my uncle's files, they're a part of this ancient spell. And I don't know about you guys, but when I see ancient and spell in the same sentence, I think Esther. If Jackson and I get married, anyone with the guts to turn up to the ceremony has as much control over their wolf form as I do. Keep the rings and be somebody's uh, Or be worship. part of the greatest pack that ever lived. Make her a vessel. Uh, to carry what? He means Esther prepared your body for someone to jump into. 
like the herself. I mean, glowing mother. And I will step in front of a moving truck before I let your mother take over my body. She wasn't preparing you for herself, Cammy. She was preparing you for Rebecca. What? Uh, I don't think so. That's not happening. We mustn't let the world ever hurt her. We mustn't. Uh, Hopey babes, I'm so sorry, but that's uh, something you're gonna need to learn to adapt to. No, we can do this without him. Uh, I'm never gonna say this again, but Marcel's right. I do need the busted. <laughs> what did she do to me? All you need to know is that I beat you again. And yet you relented. You need me, don't you? <laughs> did I really lose? I like it. Haley Marshall. Will you marry me? A ring? <laughs> well, I think I can judge for myself which of her schemes she would entrust to you and which she would not. I believe this was Finn's task, and despite what you might think, Cole, I did mourn you after your death. Yeah, that was... And I did attempt to avenge you. I would do nothing less because we are brothers. Her torture must have affected him more deeply than I realized. Yeah. Where is he now? I broke his neck to keep us safe. Do you recall where we dined the Christmas after we fled Michael? Of course. Go there, now. <laughs> Your daughter? Your daughter. Go! Oh my god. Okay, um, that was insane. Okay, let me tell you, I was not prepared for any of that theories that came into play. Mainly Cammy's body used as a vessel for Rebecca to start a mortal life. And, you know, first of all, let me tell you that puncture wounds freak me out. Like, I do not like those. That stuff, oh, God, gives me the heebie-jeebies. But knowing that that's what she is, like, planning to do, God knows who else she's done, like, who else, uh, this body that she has used as a vessel for Klaus, um, Elijah, Finn, and Cole. I mean, not Elijah, Finn, and Cole, but Elijah and uh, Klaus. Like, what that's insane and now finn is not daggered kept alive in a coffin locked and ready yo that's freaky that's freaky that oh my god i don't i, I don't even want to say Haley and uh, jackson are getting married that is intensely good um i knew that she will do anything for the pack but if in order for that mythical thing to work um i'm sure that there has to be some sort of like passion and how do you say love between them two like jack between jackson and Haley. and i think it might be developed once they get married and yeah elijah is oh dear lord um i i don't know about like elijah is having major issues he is killing literally people um, which he never does and this is a this is the aftermath of what Esther had on him and how she tortured him it's really affecting him really but I think it's like more paranoia I'm not sure if it's paranoia but I think it's paranoia and um, lust for blood so I think because she did say that you know eventually you will want to switch bodies you will want to be mortal so by any means necessary she will make him feel that so i think that's what the torture is all about and now uh klaus and Haley are going to go and meet rebecca at the place that they went christmas dinner or whatever when they fled michael and they're gonna finally see hope oh my lord i, I can i say i'm so happy i saw rebecca and hope in this episode it's been way too long without rebecca and she is as always phenomenal and um then we have Ka like uh, what's her name Divina um she had plans of her own she used dark objects to make her blood poison and literally paralyzed uh Klaus which is nuts because now she is learning these spells which make her even more stronger 
and uh, you know i guess if you just need spells to be strong enough rather than being oh like you know a strong witch like because of cole helping her out and teaching her all of that like try to uh, change the rope to um, an actual chain like that is insane so now i i'm so confused what her ultimate goal is i know she wants to dagger klaus and throw him in the river and whatnot but i hope cammy gets to her before that and explains that because she won't listen to marcel in that way I, the only person i think she will listen to is cammy where at least she will understand that what she's trying to do is not right and maybe once she sees that klaus will is like not he will not explain herself to divina but it's just in a way where she sees the the helping side of him, the better side of him, she will decide to not go ahead and do it. Um, or maybe Cole will just be the one to say, you know what, I don't think it's worth daggering Klaus because now he's reunited with his daughter and whatnot. I'm, I'm thinking way ahead, but I'm just like trying to picture what it could be. And um, yeah, this now I am so excited to see Klaus and um, Haley seeing their daughter again. That's like ultimate goals. And yeah, damn, that is insane. This has been an insane episode. Um, for weird reason, I'm not gonna lie, I felt this episode was super long, but I don't know, it just seemed like a regular harmony. Like a proper 40, 41 minute episode. I don't know, I felt it's like going on and on and on. <laughs> In a very good way. I just thought that, damn, it's it's such a interesting episode that's not ending but um yeah i'm super excited to see episode nine and then uh, thereafter like what exactly is gonna happen uh, with esther and her plans but yeah i i hope we don't get to see that puncture wound again because i it, it really freaks me out and yeah <laughs> that's like literally in my mind right now is <laughs> i try to get it off but it's not but um yeah I'll see you guys in episode 9. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Please don't forget to wear a mask and stay safe for your friends and family. Till then, episode 9. See you. Bye.